good evening everyone um firstly welcome to algo smith demo um uh, i would definitely like to thank each one of you uh, for the day, for taking the time out for the session on a monday uh, afternoon unfortunately we have had a bad day at the market the last i saw was like 3 and 3% of down over 3% uh not a great way to start the week but yeah that's the market right so some days are great some days aren't and uh, in the longer run if we all of us if all of us are able to generate good returns for ourselves we are good and that's what we at billemoni india focus on not at the day to day uh, profits or loss but what we want to see is our investors making good returns over the longer duration right that's how you can make money and there's no other way than doing that uh if somebody is looking at becoming rich overnight then that's definitely not going to happen so yeah that's that's how it is it is going to be a lot of patience lot of uh strategies lot of perseverance and slowly and steadily all of us develop uh william o'neil developed the whole uh methodology called can slim which is which has taken many many years uh for him to come up with a full proof strategy which is really done well for himself it's primarily a very very rule based system so one can uh, avoid all the personal biases and things like that so that's how uh, william o'neil the great himself has done so i think all of us can take a leaf out of those books which he has written and definitely make some returns for uh, each one of us great so i know i mean uh, algo smith is a little unique platform maybe i would even say it's a little early in the market uh, people probably are not prepared for it so what i come across more and uh, more and more people asking me saying how do we use this product uh, how do you really take advantage of this right so and what are the pros and cons why algo smith why not many other things that are available in the market And so those are some some of the questions that I would really want to address. Now that's where I am here. Uh, I would call the, this a very unique platform, uh, which provides data-driven strategies that would definitely help you maximize your profits in the longer run. And that's probably our key key objective in at William O'Neill India. Um, now all of us would agree that. Uh, artificial intelligence is really shaping the future, right? And specifically. uh the future of stock trading as individuals obviously um we cannot afford uh, ai and ml but the big players are definitely using ai robo advisors to analyze uh, millions of data points execute trades at the optimal price uh, analysts even forecast with greater accuracy and trading firms um, efficiently mitigate risk to provide for higher returns uh while human um, humans remain a big part of uh, trading equation uh, ai plays an increasingly significant role i would say right it it can identify complex trading patterns on a massive scale across multiple markets in real time now that's not something which you and me can do it and that's why uh, i would say ai and ml are uh, really the future and at algosmith india we're definitely moving towards that um, we may not be there yet uh it's it is obviously one step at a time uh we all have to take small steps to get there and that's probably the objective here right so you uh, you want to be uh, on a path on par with what others are doing and what really is the future uh, otherwise you're going to be left out right so that's where we are um obviously when you are looking at equity investments you have mutual funds uh, you can invest directly into uh, stocks which you like so there are multiple ways to do it um i def and all of them have their own pro pros and cons as well um but we are but if you look at say mutual funds um i'm not saying they're bad but then uh, when you look at the expense ratios right so they can it could be anywhere between 1% to 2.5% sounds small in terms of percentage but if your corpus is big and in the longer run you definitely end up making losing a lot or rather a huge amount in just as expense ratios um so th then there is another thing here we talk about flexible and transparent portfolio um with this the th things that just uh, algo smith you actually invest in stocks so you are you own shares uh, you are eligible to uh, the dividends that they uh, give you 
right? So all that is, it's literally like holding a stock in any uh, share of any particular company. Whereas mutual funds, you are going to obviously hold uh, units of mutual funds, right? So that's another problem. Again, you can invest, uh, you can track your investments real time. Uh, you have the liberty to pick and choose which stocks you want, which you don't want, when you want to enter, when you want to exit. Uh, specifically, when the markets are not doing great, uh, with owning stocks, it becomes way easier to quickly exit and save your capital, right? And that's probably extremely, extremely important. Now, Bill was very particular about that. He always felt you need to really focus on the market direction. So if the market is in an uptrend, he said, go all out. But if it's in a downtrend, you definitely have to be on the sidelines, right? Uh, it is very evident. Our research has clearly said three out of four stocks follow the market. Now, if, you, if the market is not going up, there is no great reason to be fighting against the odds. So that's why it's important to really know when to come out, uh, have the flexibility to come out, unlike mutual funds where it will be extremely, extremely difficult for them to come out. But you as individuals, you and me as individual investors, we can always come out. So those are the advantages, advantages I can think of. Similarly, you, you can even look at individual stocks. So you, if, you are a, if you have been doing this for many years, I'm sure you would have come up with your own strategies. But if you are a novice, then you are going to be struggling to find the right stocks. Uh, you don't have the time nor the research capabilities. Uh, and again, if you really want to research, it takes ample amount of time to really identify the best stocks. And with so much noise around, it's extremely, extremely difficult to identify the right stocks first. And even if you have found the right stocks, you really need to know which is a good entry and a good exit point. Now, if you don't do that, again, there is a problem, right? And personally, I have seen many, many people having biases. They just cannot book profits. Uh, they just cannot exit. I mean, if they are sitting at a good profit, then the greed starts to play and they feel, oh, it can go up further. And if they are sitting at a loss, again, there is a fear element and there is a hope where they think that it will come back again. So either ways, one struggles to really exit their holdings. So what I would really recommend or what Bill says is follow the rules. So if you have a set rule and you just strictly, strictly follow that. And how do you follow that? There's obviously a lot of algorithms that you want, it, want, want in place so that it automatically triggers rather than you taking a call, uh, having your own personal biases and having your hopes and greeds falling in place. Right. So you just want to avoid all that. So the best way to do it is to kind of make it a little more rule-based and algorithmically exit your uh, holdings. So yeah, so we at William O'Neill India focus on obviously individual equities, uh, stock research advisories, and we're really committed to providing industry-leading financial services and information to Indian uh, retail clients, right? With more and more people investing in stocks every year, specifically 2020, uh, we definitely have identified a need to make investment process simpler, right? So there is always a confusion around which stock to, like I said, I mean, which stock to buy, when to buy, when to sell. So all that can be avoided to a large extent. So at um, Algosmith, we all, like we say, it's an automated portfolio service. Um, this is transparent, um, seamless, and helps you to really um, avoid all the, the, the points that I've discussed in the past, in the last few minutes. So the, pro the process really eliminates um, the human bias um, with respect to buying and selling, uh, which invariably leads to greed and fear in our decision making. So we have a huge team. Um, we, uh, we have like data scientists, we have equity analysts, we have uh, good developers uh, who actually apply AI and ML techniques and analytics on historical data to identify the best portfolio for us, right? So that's what their job is. Day-to-day -day job is to identify which strategy works and which doesn't. And uh, we uh, track over 70,000 plus stocks across the globe in, I would say, about 80 plus markets. So we have applied these concepts and strategies in multiple markets, different markets, I would say. And, and similar, obviously, we have to, again, customize it to Indian or any other specific market to make sure 
uh, that these are really foolproof and working in the longer run. Uh, like I said, it's always in the longer run that we're talking about. Some days, some months might be bad, but doesn't mean it's always going to be bad, right? So that in the what we have observed is over a period of five years, ten years, uh, we have been able to give uh, kegers as uh, as high as say twenty five percent, thirty percent, right? So that's what we're looking at. So if we are able to do that consistently over a couple of years, I think that's extremely good uh, returns for anybody, right? So that's what we're targeting. Now. Uh, let me quickly take you through the whole product. Um, like I said, it's a pretty uh, seamless product. Um, there will be some uh, nitty gritty sometimes because it is new, uh, people are not used to it. So they definitely ask us a lot of questions. So I just wanted to address that and try and see how uh, it can be better used and how it can help each one of you to better use this product. Right. So. When you come in, this is the home page. Obviously, uh, the initial bit would always uh, be include uh, registration and stuff like that. You need to just give your uh, details, which just helps you to register. It's a pretty simple one. You can even use your social networking sites to just register in a couple of clicks. And once you come inside, you will see this, right? So this is the, our home page. Um, you see the home page here. And the first thing I would want you guys to see is get into this discover, right? This is where you have the the portfolios or strategies that we're talking about we call it algo so it's because it's algorithmic uh it it does whatever it needs to do on its own we have set the rules in place uh after back testing uh, across uh, history so if you see there are five different strategies here one can obviously look at uh, all the five and pick and choose the one that best uh, works for them uh, we call turtle growth, turtle value, dolphin, frog, and elephant. Now, each of them have a different set of universe, or it would be different minimum amounts, or risk appetite would be different for each of these. So that's why we say you might have to just look at each one of them and then figure out which one works for you. Now, for example, I have turtle growth, which is actually a growth uh, investing, which is what um, CanSlim is all about. It's a growth uh, strategy that we are talking about. Uh, you can see that the, the compound annual growth rate is about 23% and the minimum investment amount to really start this um, or invest in this strategy is about 1.03 lakhs. And that's what we're talking about. Similarly, we have total value, which is value investing. Uh, we have a, a KR of 15 or 16% and uh, the minimum investment at this point is about one and a half lakhs. We have frog, which is purely, purely can slim. Um, it's, it's given us about 28% return and minimum investment is 96 lakhs. Um, dolphin, again, Kager of 25% with a minimum investment of 1.7 lakhs. And elephant, which is 32% Kager uh, with a 1.43 lakh minimum investment. So if you are looking at any of these kind of, if you have this kind of in, uh, investment in mind, so you have one lakh with you and you want to really invest, uh, you can definitely look at one of these. Uh, the way it works is we, we work on a subscription model. So once you subscribe, you can uh, invest as much, as much as you want. For example, you've chosen turtle growth and minimum investment is one, three, one, one lakh zero, uh, three thousand, but you, you can uh, decide to add as high as possible. So whatever is your um, capital uh, that you have, uh, you can allocate it to it right so accordingly it will let you know which stocks to invest and the you quantity as well so all that information is available once you subscribe to it okay right? so the uh, we have limited uh, portfolios like i said uh, the strategies are just five at this point uh, our quant team continues to work on adding more and more strategies but obviously it's not um, easy to just identify uh, strategies every day right? so these are not those thematic ones saying, okay, today we have a theme, so we want to add something on that. But these are for long term. Uh, the strategies keep getting updated. The portfolios keep getting updated on a regular basis. So once you invest, you have the liberty to hold it for however long you want, many years. Or when you need, you can always exit as well. So all this is easy. Um, out of these five, um, Frog is very actively managed because it the universe for Frog is our model portfolio from MarketSmith India. 
so as in when there is a stock added or removed to or removed from uh, market smith india model model portfolio this would change right so there could be a rebalance uh, triggered here so that's why it is i say it is very actively managed so the stocks would probably the way we look at is if um, it gives us around 20 25% return we might uh, our model portfolio stock might uh, they might ask you to exit so as and when they get it they keep exiting as well so that's how frog is uh, operated so if today they add a stock um, say for example uh, market smith india team decides to add or remove any stock today uh, to the model portfolio uh, we run an overnight job to identify if it is really the be it is better than what is already in the portfolio and we also look at uh, portfolio allocation and we run various models uh, the back end and early morning tomorrow our users would get a rebalance notification which say which would say basically x number of stocks have been removed or x number of stocks have been added and you need to rebalance once you click on that rebalance it it would just take two clicks and you can actually execute your trades to make sure that you have the same set of stocks uh, what is recommended by frog so that's the idea behind it however the other four are quarterly rebalance so we rebalance them once a quarter so first working day of every quarter is when these uh, other other four are getting rebalanced uh, unless and until obviously if there is any crisis we see there is some major change and we want we see that there is something which is not going right uh, then we would tend to even re we would tend to rebalance uh, in midway but that's an exceptional case so that's why i say we keep tracking them you can also track and if there is anything that we see that is a cause for concern we would rebalance that midway otherwise it will be held for the whole quarter at the end of the quarter we kind we run a model again to identify if the set of stocks which are there in this particular strategy are the best fit for that particular strategy now if it is if, if it continues to be the best fit we may we may not really make any changes but obviously a quarter is a reasonable amount of time so you would see that there is some some churn where it will be like some stocks come in some stocks go out so that happens every quarter so once you have invested you can just continue to hold for the whole quarter and you will get a rebalance notification at the end of the quarter and you just have to execute that now the beauty here obviously we are able to give you the right set of stocks which stocks to buy the quantity is also given and the by the entry and exit price is also given so all that information is covered already right so that's that is where we are talking about right so that's where we are um, in terms of each strategy right so let me also do one, another thing that you can do is once you have invested uh, for example you have invested in turtle growth the first time is 1.03 lakh uh, but going forward you can even set up an sip for it so if you are somebody who says uh, i want to have 10000 or something like that automatically been uh, invested in this particular strategy every month you can set that up as well so that's that's another alternative uh, uh, option that you have so that's another thing that you have now let me quickly go into each of these um, strategies just to give you what you would see when you go there like for example i get into turtle value right now if you look at turtle value um, like i said it is uh, it follows value investing right so once you come in here uh, you will know a, a little bit about this algo. What is the methodology that we are talking about? Uh, what's the past performance? You can actually see the past performance here. Uh, the the lighter version basically is uh, the back-tested content. And this is where we went live. So you can uh, figure out that, okay, this is where we went live. Uh, we went live and unfortunately the market crashed a bit here, but we have recovered nicely. If you see this, um, if I look at, say, for example, past six months performance or one year performance, uh, you can do that. So you have Nifty, which has gone up by about 12% in the last one year, whereas uh, Turtle Group Value has actually given us 49% uh, return in the last one year. Now, this is one of the best algos uh, on this date. I mean, as of this date, like I said, certain algos do well in different periods, but this algo specifically has done extremely well in the last one year. So that's the idea behind. Uh, so you can check out the performance. So you can look at one month performance, three month performance, right? Uh, six months. So it immediately tells you in six months, Nifty went up by 31%, while we went up by 45%. Fairly good work, right? So that's what we are. We all, you can also see the latest news. 
related to these uh, stocks and stuff like that. So that's also available. If you click on stocks and weights here, this is where you will actually see the, uh, the holdings in this stock. Now, if you see, you have Virgil Pains, Cadilla, right? All these are here. It also tells you the percentage allocation to each of these stocks. So this is how it is. So if you see IT service and consulting alone has about 22, 23%, uh, which is basically at CL, Emphasis and Dipro. Right? So these kind of things. Uh, you will also see the rebalance schedule. So last rebalance was September 30th and the next would obviously be December 31st. So this is a quarterly rebalance. So the next one would be on December 31st that we would do. Uh, like I said, on the rebalance day, we will review all these stocks in this particular portfolio. Uh, if there is anything that we don't, uh, or, I mean, I'll let it, let me put it this way. If we will really identify the top uh, stocks meeting these, this particular strategy, and if these are not among the top, then obviously they will go out and something which is part of the top will come inside. Right? That, that's how we look at things. Right? Okay. So, and if you want to really place an order, all you have to do is just click on place order here. Um, so as soon as you click on place order, uh, the first time you're doing it, you will have to um, connect your broking account, right? So let me just also share this PPT. Let me just do this. Let me go share. Okay, there you go. Okay, so these are some of the broking accounts which have which have been integrated on our product. So we have five pesa, angel broking, access direct, edelweiss, HTFC securities, IFL, trust line up stocks, and zero down. Right. So these are already integrated. So if you have uh, any if you have an account with any of these brokers, you can easily just integrate. Like I said, you just have to click on um place order. The first time it'll ask you to integrate. So you can enter your credentials and it's just about a first time. And uh, once you have done it, uh, if at all you have to change, you will have to obviously reach out to us uh, in case somebody has an account with say five pesa as well as um, zero da. Right. So then, um, if you are already integrated with five pesa and you want to switch it, then you will have to obviously write to us and we will uh, do the needful from our end. Uh, but if you have done it once and you are happy to continue with that, all you have to do is um, whenever you want to execute a trade, you just um, Log in. You uh, you log into AlgoSmith first, and then just click on um, your broking account. You will be asked to obviously enter your credentials, uh, broking account credentials as well, which is safe. Nothing to worry. You can enter your details, and you can execute trades directly from there. Now, how does it work? Um, so, for example, you have this. Let me go back to AlgoSmith. Right, so that's how it is. So this is about, you know, we can probably look at other stock, other algos as well. So you have frog, we have turtle value, dolphin, elephant, like I said. Um, elephant is based on the MarketSmith Guru screen that we have. The universe is the MarketSmith Guru screen. And um, I think there are a few questions on the chat. Um, please um, give me a, a few minutes. I will definitely take the questions. I, I'm. Uh, I'm not ignoring this question, but I'll just finish the flow and then probably come back to the questions. So we'll definitely have enough time to go through the questions, right? So yeah, coming back. So you can check out whichever works for you and then you pick and choose the right relevant one for you. Right? So that's the strategy here. Um, so you have these once. Uh, so like I said, so the, now for, for total growth, it says buy. That's because I haven't really subscribed to this. So if I need to subscribe and I like the strategy, I just have to click on buy and the subscription page will open up. You can actually subscribe to the plan. Right now, for example, this one is uh, about 3990 uh, on an annual plan. We do have a lot of combo plans as well where one can buy uh, all the five at a much lesser price. So obviously you can reach out to our um, sales team for all the, that information, right? So that's on the, this thing. So once you have done this, say for example, you have bought it, like if you, if you already bought it, you will see, it will say see details, you click on that. Uh, you will be able to see the overview as well as the stocks and weights. 
but if you have it then it will not allow you to see the stocks and weights so that's the main difference here right so till you have uh, subscribed you will not be able to see the stocks and weights guys okay, so, okay my is this my internet which is becoming patchy Yeah, so for example, now on Frog, I can click on it and I can definitely see the stocks and weights because I have subscribed to it. But if I go to, say, Turtle Growth, I can look at this rationale, the strategy, the, the, the performance, historical performance, everything can be seen. Only thing you will not be able to see is the stocks and weights. Uh, that's the only thing you will not be able to. So it gives you a fair idea about the strategy. And once you're sure about the strategy that you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. And then you will be able to see the stocks and weights as well. So that's how it works. So this is on this. So how do, how do you buy it? It's a very simple process. Like I said, uh, you can go to Frog, for example. Um, you have Since I have already invested, I have an option called Invest More here. I can just click on Invest More. Um, it will open up my, uh, I, have, I have a Zeroda account, so it can, it's connecting to my Zeroda account. Uh, you come here, um, you can see these are the stocks I have. Uh, the liquid bees is nothing but uh, if the if the stock market is not doing well we would uh, like i said we will be on the sideline so we will move majority of our part to the etf uh, called nippon india liquid bees uh, so that's how it works so you can do this uh, the other thing like i said you can also review the orders here you can make changes you can increase the order amount if you want to you can do all of that right so you can do all of that um, and once you have done, like I said, in like two clicks, you should be able to uh, place your orders. Now, obviously we are outside market hours, so we will not be able to place an order now, um, but I'll just want to see, the, show you the screen that you will come across um, when you do this. Um, here you go. So I have the PowerPoint open. So once, like I said, you log into your broker, uh, you have this rebalance. So, for example, I already have invested in Frog, so it says, re and if there is a rebalance notification, it gives me a rebalancing Frog. Uh, you can either confirm the update, or you can click on Review Update to actually see this whole thing. So, you can actually see the stocks. So, basically, it says stocks you're buying are nine, stocks you're selling are three. Which are the stocks? The price, the quantity, change, everything is given here. Um, if you want to, you can customize by clicking on customize. So you can just click on customize and you can make required changes. Like for example, there are people who don't like certain stocks, they can actually exclude them. Or if you want to increase quantity of certain stocks, you can do that as well. So, and you do all that and then just can click on confirm update. Right. So that's what we do. So that's the way. And then you can just execute the trade. Okay. Coming back to Algos Met. Okay, so yeah. So these are the ways you can do it. And uh, like I said, um, you can always set up an SIP as well. Uh, you can invest more if you want to on any given time. If you like the strategy or it's doing well and you want to invest more or increase more stocks there, you could do that. Once you have invested, you can come here on investments. So this is where you will see your investments. Um, for example, I have invested in only frog. So you can see frog. It tells me what uh, I have done. And so this is a, a dummy account. So I'm just using it for a uh, demo purpose. So it will tell you uh, what was the index value, current value, what is it, current returns and total returns. All that information can be tracked easily over here. right? And um, if there is a rebalance due, it, uh, it will show this rebalance uh, button here. So basically, since it's a dummy account and I have not been rebalancing regularly, that's why you see that the, the returns are not great. So uh, I have never rebalanced this, so this just lies as is. So once we just bought it, we just kept it intact. Uh, otherwise, uh, obviously, if it was a live account, I could have uh, rebalanced regularly. So it says there is a rebalance due. Uh, you can also see your object by clicking on these three dots. You can actually see the original and the orders as well. So you can keep tracking them. Um, so that's on these things. Um, yes. So that's primarily what I wanted to cover in the demo. Um, and I am sure there are a few questions already on the chat. So let me go to the chat and take a few questions. 
Yeah, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, there's a the first question talks about Swing Trader. No, Swing Trader is not AI or ML enabled. It's uh, we have a team which is working on Swing Trading team. Uh, we have a team of analysts which is uh, which are working on Swing Trading strategies. So that's completely different than this. Um, is this similar to small case? You can say it, but then uh, small case are more thematic in nature. I would say so. They have themes uh, thematic, and they don't really have. Uh, advisory team or a quant team doing um, what they're supposed to do in terms of identifying the right uh, strategies. Uh, what we do is we are not based on themes. We are based on the strategies. And uh, like I said, the quant team actually would um, back test each and every strategy. They are really doing a lot of uh, testing, back testing, and coming up with the best possible strategy for all of us. So whereas small case, I would say is more into uh, themes. So whichever is the uh, key theme at this point in time, they might be looking at that. So that's how it is different. Uh, what's the difference between frog algo stocks and model portfolio stock? Okay. So the universe, so when I say frog algo, what has happened in the past is um, when we were um, suggesting stocks to our market Smith India users as part of model portfolio, Many people came back and said, okay, uh, you have uh, X number of stocks. Which are the stocks that I should buy? What should be the allocation to each of these stocks? Now, to address that, we use that universe to come up with a strategy and we called it frog. Now, how does it help? Not all stocks in the model portfolio are part of uh, frog. Again, we also tell you what should be the exact uh, units or the allocation to each of these stocks. Um, in the frog, so that's mainly the difference that I would say, right? So if you if you can uh, follow model portfolio uh, stocks, you can do that. But if you have confusion over, uh, okay, which stock out of these to buy, and what should be the allocation to each of these stocks, that's where frog comes into picture, right? So that's how it is different. Okay. Um, how are the weights for the allocation decided? Also, the return reflected post trading cost. Okay, so at this point, obviously, um, the see, like I said, the returns here, we are only talking about brokerage, right? So the only expense you have is, uh, one is obviously brokerage that you uh, have as in when you execute trades. And most of them, like I said, are quarterly debalance. So the execution is not, the, uh, the brokerage is not going to be very high. It's going to be fractional in comparison to something like a mutual fund, which charges anywhere between one to two and a half percent, like I said. In terms of allocation model, obviously those are proprietary. So we have been, uh, our quant team has been trying out various different allocation models. Um, so these are all tried and tested models that we use. Uh, I obviously cannot uh, describe them as it is proprietary and stuff like that. But yeah, so these are uh, the well-known models that uh, are available in the market, and we come our own teams, come, our teams come up with various models to allocate. Um, to give you some examples, this I mean, uh, to give you some real-life examples, these are some of the strategies where we are investing our own family office money as well. So that's that probably gives would gives a lot of confidence because we invest our own family office money uh, in these strategies. Right. So it is well thought through and uh, definitely something which can be trusted. OK, once you subscribe to Frog Algo or any other Algo investment can be done automatically or we have to make manual changes in our trading account. OK, so see, many people would tell you many brokerage firms, etc., would tell you that we can manage it automatically. But uh, if you look, if you really go by the SEBI guidelines, uh, one cannot really execute trades on behalf of you right so the final click has to be done by uh, the individual investor so what we have tried to do is kind of um, really make sure that all of this is put together in a form so if you had to buy stocks maybe if i have 10 stocks in my uh, in frog you would end up clicking on each one of them one by one right you'll have to search for the stock enter the quantity click execute the trade one by one now what we have tried to do is you, you will get a tabular form where all the stocks, the quantity, everything is already pre-entered for you. All you have to do is click on execute trade uh, unless you want to make any uh, changes to the uh, existing this thing. If nothing, then you just have to execute trade and um, that's about it. So 
in say one or two clicks you will you will end up buying and selling all the stocks that are there in the portfolio so that's uh, how we try to make it simple but yes the final click has to be done by you uh, when you're buying you the first time you obviously have to buy it and whenever there is a rebalance like i said you will get an email um, with all the details you just click on rebalance a table is for, populated for you you can just review them and execute trade and with that one click you will buy and sell all the stocks that we are, it's there in the portfolio so anything that has to go out and any stock that has to come in all of that is done together for you so you don't have to do it multiple times so that's how easy it is so it's just about clicking it once right okay that was from manish and then there is um praveen says it's like swing trader for strategy slash category and praveen i mean you might want to elaborate a question i really didn't get that question but again like i said this is not uh, swing trading we're not talking about swing trading here um swing trading is definitely very very different it is it uh, the idea there is to take advantage of uh, any short term um, uh, movement in the this thing right so it's very different um algo is possibly only the intelligence in picking the stock yes i mean it picks the right stocks now see um so what we have done is really um we are running on both fundamentals and technical parameters uh, if you and me have to do it individually it will take a lot of effort right so the whole process of identifying fundamentally and technically strong stocks has been taken care by the algo right so we have rule like i said we have rules set in place the algorithms are written so that the system throws out the right set of stocks so fundamentally good stocks and then it also identifies what's the right entry and exit point etc right so that it considers technicals and it will tell you if it's a right good time to buy that particular stock or not so all that is done and the next obviously is the portfolio allocation which are, like some of you had asked so we also take care of the portfolio allocation now once that is done the only part left with uh, the individual user is to execute it maybe a review from your end and a click to execute is all that you need to do so that's how simple it is so all the hard work is done you just have to do the execution because like i said sebi the guidelines do not allow anybody else to do that on behalf of you right so that's the whole idea behind it what are the annual charges for all the algos uh, can we do not buy say one or two stocks how do we stocks are in buy stage or hold stage okay so the annual charges like i said you can just go to the discover page you will be able to see the charges um and if you're looking at all algos like i said um, there are some uh, uh, discounted prices as well so you can look at them uh, can you not buy uh, say one or two stocks you can definitely it's your choice right uh, having said that if you want to mimic the performance of the algo then we would recommend that you stick to all the stocks but if you are uh, just trying to see okay which are the good stocks and you want to just execute or buy those particular stocks uh, for yourself which is perfectly fine so at least it will give you the list of stocks which are good and you can decide on buying those stocks or not buying it right so that can be done uh, we don't have but the idea behind this whole uh, system is the whole uh, i mean this whole product is to give you a proper portfolio service rather than telling you one or two stocks if you look at one or two stocks there are uh, probably you can look at markets with india model portfolio to tell you uh, on a regular basis which stock to buy and when to buy when to sell everything right so you can look at model markets with india and uh, that's for long longer term but if you're looking at short term then you can also look at swing trading which is more short term in nature couple of days uh, make like quick 5 to 10% return so that's a very different strategy again so i would recommend you do that uh, how do we uh, how do we stocks are in buy stage or hold stage so you don't have to do that so that the systems are doing it right so if if we see any cause for concern we will send out a rebalance notification to your email if you are if you have subscribed to any algo and if there is anything that any stock that we believe that you should uh, sell or uh, buy a new stock you will get a rebalance notification so you don't have to worry about that so praveen says this icchs securities are quota securities integration in order 
Uh, yes, we do have, but it'll take a while because um, I think Kotak is stuck with our compliance, uh, their compliance team, and ICICI is again. Uh, I don't have a latest update, but yes, we are working with all the brokers. Um, but it will take a while, uh, is what I would say. Maybe um, we try to add a couple of brokers every quarter. So maybe next quarter we can uh, we can definitely look at uh, some of these. Okay. But again, like I said, you don't have to really be worried about. Um, so one other thing you can do is you can just open a new broking account. Um, and uh, at this at this point, one has to connect the broking account to even see the um, weights and stocks. But uh, we are already working on uh, get eliminating that process so that if you uh, if you if you don't have a broking account with any of these nine brokers, uh, you can still just uh, log in and see the stocks and weights and go ahead to your broking account and execute the trades. But only problem there would be that you will have to manually enter all these stocks and weights one by one. Whereas here you can just execute in uh, like a couple of clicks. So that's why I would recommend that um, you can use one of the broking accounts, um, one, one out of these nine brokers to uh, take advantage of this whole process. Okay. Uh, what if market starts crashing? Do you time exits on or average? What is the average holding period you may have? Okay, so if the market starts crashing, like I said, at this point, what we do is we look at once a quarter. I mean, frog would immediately start going out. So since it's a very actively managed portfolio, you will see that we are exiting uh, stocks immediately. Uh, however, for the other quarterly rebalancing portfolios, we would not really react immediately. Like I said, there will be ups and downs. We believe uh, if something goes down, it will come back as well. Uh, but if we see that there is a major problem, then we would make a uh, one-time ex uh, exception and might uh, send out a rebalance notification. We have done that once till date, but um, normally we would want to hold it and like I said, um, we would just hold it for the quarter. End of the quarter, we decide what we really want to do. Uh, ICICI Direct, yes, uh, I just covered. I think we have not integrated with ICICI Direct as yet. Uh, if we get customized, if we customize, we will will we still get rebalance guidance. So the rebalance will work. Yes, you, even if you customize, you will get rebalance guidance. The only difference would be that your performance and the uh, portfolio, our portfolio, or rather the algo uh, performance might not be in sync. So if you want to mimic, then I would recommend you st uh, stick to that. But um, if you believe that there is, you have some other information, you believe the stock might, I want to add another stock, which I believe will do much better, which is fine. I mean, uh, there's nothing wrong and you will still get the rebalance guidance. Can we switch between plans? Um, no, I don't think we can switch between plans. Once you subscribe to one, uh, you will continue to remain with that, right? So if you want to subscribe to another one, you are, you can uh, definitely close one and uh, you, uh, you can subscribe to the other one. Can be done. Um, if, but if your question is more towards, can I move, uh, I mean, exit, uh, exit from that portfolio? Yes. Like I said, this is like owning shares of a couple of stock uh, companies, right? So you can exit anytime and that money capital can be redeployed into a different strategy. So that can always be done. Um, Mr. Giri says, uh, we were supposed to connect before from Canslim's seminar done before. Okay, I, there's something here. I will um, reach out to you separately. So we'll note down. Um, what's the meaning of rebalance? Okay, rebalance is basically, like I said, once at any given point of time you have um, so we have identified for example today we are uh, identifying which are the good stocks to uh, which are the good stocks meeting a particular strategy so for example say some 10 stocks came up we have given the allocation everything is done we have invested right but at the end of the quarter what we have to do is basically just relook at it to make sure the, the set of 10 stocks that were identified today are still the good ones, are still the best in that strategy. So if they are not, so then what will happen is whichever is the good uh, stock at that point in time will come in and something which is not the best in this 10 will go out. So that's what we call it rebalance. So on a regular basis, we rebalance to make sure the best of the lot is 
uh, among the portfolio. So that's the idea behind rebalance. Otherwise, we will end up continuing to hold uh, these 10 stocks forever. And if some of them are not performing and we don't come out of that, then obviously our performance is going to be impacted. So the idea is to review these stocks uh, al algorithmically at the end of the quarter to make sure that's the best of the lot. So that's the idea behind the rebalance. And that we will continue to hold that the new set of 10 stocks or 11 stocks or 12 stocks for the next quarter. That's the idea behind it. How is it better than mutual funds? Um, Again, see, mutual funds are there. They are they have they are a separate industry altogether. There are certain pros and cons everywhere. Like I said, the main thing would obviously be the expense ratio. It's quite expensive uh, when it comes to mutual funds. Second thing is, you directly own stocks here. Uh, you're not holding units. You're buying stocks. You will be eligible for dividends. Uh, you can you know, it's a transparent uh, this thing, and you know which stocks you're holding. And the biggest advantage is if the market crashes or something like that, you want to be in the sidelines, it's in your control, right? So you can quickly come out, uh, be on the sidelines till the market improves and re-enter whenever you want, right? So that's the beauty of this whole thing. So that's the idea behind it. Is trial available? Yes, there are trials available. Um, you can visit our uh, website to get, this, get the same. Um, what if I wish to execute orders on my exit? You can do that. I, I think I just covered. So if you want to do that, you can do it. Uh, for now, I would suggest you will have to just open an account with any of these nine brokers just to connect. Once you connect, you will be able to see the stocks and waves and you can go ahead and execute the orders from your broking account. As well. So that can be done. But in the next couple of weeks, I, we are trying to uh, remove that process where you can actually see the stocks and weights even without connecting your your uh, without without connecting the broker right so once that is there then you don't have to really worry about it. so you can just uh, see the stocks and weights and execute it using your existing broker too how to sell you can sell anytime so it's like selling a stock right so you can like you come into the product uh, all you have to do is um, let me just show you there is an option to exit So, for example, let me just go back to Frog, which is where I am in this, this account as investor. So, you have the option right at the bottom left, uh, bottom bottom right, uh, which says Exit Algo. So, you click on Exit Algo. You are uh, you can act like you have Invest More here. Similarly, you will have Exit Frog. So, you click on Exit Frog, and you should be good. You should be able to exit all the all the stocks or partial, whichever way you want, you can easily do that. So that's pretty easy. Like I said, all this is taken care of. Um, it's a very easy way of operating uh, the whole thing. So you can easily exit as well. Um, uh, yes, partial or full exit, both are possible. Okay. What are the difference in principles for each of your portfolio? Frog, elephant, though you mentioned while well, skimming few, what would be the taxation succession data? Is too much vice is difficult to document. Okay, so see in terms of tax and stuff like that, it is as um, similar as buying any uh, stocks that you buy normally, right? If you're buying shares normally. It's exactly the same process. So there is nothing new for this. So with respect to taxation, you have nothing different. Uh, in terms of different strategies, like I said, uh, turtle value and growth, for example, follow growth and value style of investing. Uh, frog, is, like I said, it's more of an actively managed portfolio and the universe is the market Smith India model portfolio. Uh, Elephant is uh, the guru screen that we have on market Smith. So the universe, in certain cases, the universe is different. So the universe automatically throws certain. Uh, so, the, so guru screens already have uh, are running through uh, running certain algos to identify the best stocks, and uh, those are based on the uh, the parameters each guru has set. Now the gurus include um, William O'Neill himself, Warren Buffet, uh, Peter Lynch, and the likes. Right? So the stocks would which would meet their criteria is what is the universe for elephants. So that's how these are different. 
uh, action is done by us yes um, like i said the only execution part is done by you the last final click to log in and to execute the trade is done by the end user rest everything is algorithmically uh, done so that's what uh, i would say small amount um, at this point i think yeah see even if you look at anything smaller it might not make sense um, more from the returns perspective right so uh, you are all obviously paying something on the subscription and then there is brokerage so keeping all that in mind um, we would recommend that somebody with at least a capital of say 75 80000 or a 1 lakh is what is best for these algos right uh, i'm trading with kotak how to invest then uh, i think i covered this 2000 3000 is not possible um, at this point we will definitely look at uh, coming up with some strategies which will be um, for smaller amount but at this point no is sib better or one time investment uh, our values such as 1 lakh shown in sip value or one no okay 1 lakh is the minimum investment that you have to invest the first time right but after that you can set up sip for any smaller amount as well so once you have done that 1 lakh for the following months you can set up as low as say 5000 10000 whatever works for you so sip can be done for a smaller amount okay So the performance figures that you have mentioned are actual figures. So, so uh, like I said, we have shown, if you look at the chart, performance chart, you can, uh, it very clearly says when it went live. So you have both live performance as well as backtest performance. So you can see that. Um, how to factor rebalance in crop for what happened today? You can, uh, we will send out email notifications every day. So you don't have to worry about that. Right? So that's always there. Uh, what is typical holding period per stock? Two, three months. Uh, say, um, so for example, it really depends. So it is uh, for frog, it can be a shorter, but all others are, all, I would say, minimum of a quarter because once you rebalance, since we are rebalancing it once a quarter, it we will continue to hold for that whole quarter. Right? So minimum is uh, one quarter. But um, if the stock continues to do well, we will end up holding further as well. So uh, average period is something I don't know, but minimum is uh, one quarter, but average is something even I'll have to check. What are the criteria to sell here is same as 8%? No. So the criteria to sell here is not that 8%, uh, except for frog, because frog is actively managed, like I said. But for other portfolios, it is since it's uh, end of the quarter, it can actually we would uh, it can actually go below eight percent also, but if it is uh, unless there is a problem, we would not exit it. We might uh, there might be stocks which end up, but again, since you're holding a, uh, a set of stocks, uh, there will be certain stocks which are doing extremely well, and then one odd stock which might go below eight percent, but it gets balanced out. So overall, it has been able to successfully give a good return over the years. So we don't really follow that eight percent stop loss uh, and in, uh, any of the quarterly rebalancing strategies. Okay, if we buy fraud strategy by the time we click on rebalance, what if the stock has already run up before day when the stock was added? Okay, so see, normally we add stocks the, uh, on on the day on any day, and the rebalance obviously is the next day, right? So uh, you will we send out a notification anywhere between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. so that you are ready to just uh, click first thing in the morning as soon as the market opens you can actually execute the trade and get busy with your rest of the day right so that's how we have planned but yes on an exceptional cases there can be uh, but i mean obviously it's market at the end of the day we cannot really uh, make sure that it doesn't run up but if uh, on an odd case it runs up then there's nothing much anybody can do so we would uh, still execute the trade as in, as soon as uh, possible. Um, so, but if really, uh, if it really opens gap up or something, uh, nothing much can be done. I would say, uh, really difficult to do anything about it. Uh, if I have an existing portfolio, will you evaluate them if we are first timers? So, uh, we already have a portfolio evaluation tool. So, if you get it, if you just log into MarketSmith India. Uh, you can actually see there is a portfolio evaluation tool. You can do it yourself. So we, again, we have used um, AI and ML to really 
come up with a detailed evaluation uh, for any of your portfolio. So you can easily upload your portfolio, uh, upload your portfolio and get it evaluated. Uh, it will tell you uh, our view about each of the stocks that you hold. I mean, if we believe it to be uh, hold, buy, sell, whatever it is, we, you can actually see that there. Even uh, say things such as reduce and which stock you can uh, um, uh, switch to, all that information is available there. So just please visit uh, MarketSmith um, India for uh, portfolio evaluation. And then uh, you can obviously, based on that, you can also look at uh, switching your, um, say, spare capital to any of the algos. Does the compatibility with um, IDBI broker? No, currently no. We don't have a tie up uh, with them as yet. Um, I think small case and Algo Smith we have covered. Factor rebalancing frog, what happened today covered. Uh, rebalance can be early when market turns into bear instead of every three months. Okay, so for frog, it is not end of three months. Frog is actively managed. Like I said, it will be, it can be a rebalance um, almost once or twice a week also. So it is not end of three months. Uh, Ziroga is already integrated. Um, in case we don't hold stock uh, to be sold and end up selling it, we have Algo. Okay, so that's one thing that you have to be careful about. So whenever you execute a trade from algo smith we we can keep track of what your buys and sells are and accordingly you will get a rebalance notification however in exceptional cases you end up selling it directly it happens like right? there are panic selling you want to just quickly go and sell all your stocks from your broking account right so if you have done anything like that uh, nothing to worry all you have to do is just send us uh, the details, uh, the stocks which and the stocks and the quantity which you have uh, sold or bought, and we will update it uh, on AlgoSmith as well. So that's not a problem. Yeah, we'll just need a day to get it updated. But yes, you can just email it to us at support at algosmith.in, and we'll take care of that. So and post that it will again start syncing, and uh, it will be the same as uh, what you see otherwise. Okay, how do you manage March 20 crash with this algo? Okay, so like I said, so at, at any given point of time, um, we are not going to react, right? So Algo Smith, like I said, the idea is uh, if there is a need to exit, exit, we will send out a notification. Like I said, we do take um, exceptional cases into consideration and uh, immediately send out a notification to exit. But um, obviously, we have a in uh, uh, Market Smith India, we have a very structured way of objective way of uh, tracking the market. So if the distribution day counts uh, are higher, then we would definitely look at those things and we would send out notifications. So that's not a problem. Um, okay, sell criteria. Like I said, so there are no sell criteria here. What we are saying is we want to identify the best set of stocks which meet a particular strategy. Now, if they are among the top few, it will remain in the strategy. And if they are not among the top, it will go out. So we don't have a clear uh, st stop loss rule or an 8% rule to sell a stock. What we are trying to identify is which are the best set of stocks. So if they are best, they continue to remain. If they're not, uh, obviously, if you, have, if you come across any better uh, uh, stock in meeting that criteria, then you will switch, right? So that's what we're trying to do. So we will replace uh, the bad stocks with the better ones. So the idea is I have 11 players um, and uh, in the team. So for example, let's take a simple example of cricket. We have 11 players in the team and uh, you have a young talent coming and you see that that, that, uh, that player is really better. So if that person has to enter, somebody has to go out. So that's about it. So the bottom, the next, whoever is the bottom person would go out. So it's as simple as that. And the new child will, a new player will come into the, come into the team. So that's what we're trying to do. So there's no real sell sell criteria per se. Okay. Um, due to quarterly review, you would wait for 30% crash. RT drugs, if that was part of the portfolio, do you have a, a liquid ETF in Egypt? 
So if needed, there will be a liquid ETF in each. Uh, it really depends. If uh, there are not enough good stocks, then uh, any of these algos can have a liquid ETF. Uh, in terms of 30% crash are the drugs example, there is a possibility. Like I said, uh, if a, there is a sudden crash, we uh, obviously our algos are tracking them regularly and we will be able to exit uh, if needed. Uh, but if there is no need, then we continue to hold also. There is a, there is a possibility of uh, a stock going down, crashing down. Um, so, but then, like I said, in the long run, uh, it has given us good returns. So the strategies are tested and they have done well. So if they are able to give us kegers of 20, 30 percent, I think they are doing well. So that's what we are looking at. We are not looking at individual stocks performance here. Uh, what I would uh, recommend is we look at the wholesome picture and really go through the portfolio performance rather than individual stock performance. Right. Because there will be stock. One stock might even give you 100. I think there is a stock which has already hit uh, 150%, but there, there, there might be some stock which is hitting minus 25. It gets balanced out, right? So you don't have to really tweak too much. Okay, will the exit trigger limit order or market order? It will be a market order, yes. Um, loss uh, uh, how will this tool avoid loss to what happened today no we not take we are not taking into consideration day-to-day uh, -day losses so if there is a sudden crash on a given day nothing much can be done on this so we have we are looking at long-term picture for sure nothing beyond that um okay i think the, some of the questions are okay difference between swing trader and algo smith swing trader is completely different swing trader like i said is more for traders who want to take advantage of short-term trends in the market. Um, okay, um, I think we are there at the end. I think it looks like I've covered almost all the questions. Um, yes, and we are five minutes beyond time as well. So uh, firstly, thank you very much for joining. Like I said, it's uh, it's been great to have you uh, talk to each one of you. Uh, I hope I have been able to successfully cover all the questions or queries. In case you still have anything that is uh, left unanswered, please feel free to write to us at marketsmithindia at williamoneal.india.com or support at uh, algosmith.in and uh, I will definitely make sure uh, you, you will get a response. And there were a few who wanted to really talk to us. We will try to arrange a call back as well. I think there were a few who wanted to, looks, it did look like they had some more questions. So we will try to reach out to you private, uh, separately. Great. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, I think uh, we will call it off for now. And um, like I said, if there is anything, please feel free to write to us. Thank you and have a great evening.